Hello, I'm showing you iOS 5's hidden panorama feature. Um, you can access this uh, this new sweet panorama mode with a little bit of plist editing. Um, we can do that with a program called iBackupBot. Uh, you'll find a bunch of guides online on how to do so, so I, really, I won't really go to, into it uh, in this video. So I'm just going to be showing you what to expect if you've done the um, the mini hack correctly, I guess you could call it. So if you uh, if you've done it correctly and you go back to your phone once it's finished, all you need to do is open up the standard camera app, the one that comes preloaded on the phone. Everything looks the same so far. You're gonna hit options, and now instead of just being grid and HDR there, there's gonna be a new button called Panorama. So we're going to hit that. It's gonna launch a new little sub kind of menu, and it will say. Capture panorama from left to right, tap the camera button to begin. So we're going to start it where we want our first frame to be, which I want it to be all the way over here. And in this little window you can still tap to focus, um, change exposure, do all that kind of stuff like you would normally do in the camera app. Um, so we're going to press the button, let's actually move it over a little bit more. And this is going to take a total of three photos. If you're going to see each photo, start to fill up and it'll slowly go on to the next little grid that one will fill up and you'll see the grid go on to the next one you hear a beep when it's done now it's done so you see my the angle of the picture you you create is pretty wide it's at least 180 degrees and um, so now you can either start a new panorama you could look at the one you just did. There it is. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, just a tiny bit of warping on the bottom of the monitor. Not really anything noticeable. Um, the monitor is kind of curved and not its traditional flat shape, as you can see in the back of the video. But, you know, it's a good result from just a in-camera app that was this quick and didn't really take any time to process. So we can go back to the camera. And we're still in the panorama feature, and if you want to get out of this panorama mode, you can just hit done. Now you can just go back to your photos and look at what you just created. We'll go sideways. There it is. Now, I just showed you kind of the perfect example of using this panorama feature. Um, that's, you know, this is on a fluid head tripod with a glyph, so I'm getting perfectly smooth uh, shots, and I'm doing them on the same axis. So it'd be kind of like turning your hand instead of doing what people think you'd be doing. Um, this is how you should be taking the panorama, but it's not how everyone's going to actually do it. So next I'm showing you is what the same panorama will look like in the conventional method, which would be using doing it handheld. So I'll take away the tripod, bring the phone back into view. We'll go back into the panorama uh, area. There you go launch that. Now I'm just going to start from where my first frame was when I was on the tripod and slowly try to do this by hand okay look at the photo I just made now as you can see bring it back a little bit it's not quite as sharp as the one before. There's more, um, not as even in the monitor. And overall, just not uh, as decent looking as a picture as the other one. And if you'll see, this part is higher than this part. So that means if you were to put this on the computer, it wouldn't be a perfectly square photo. So that's a problem. But you can easily fix that by going to the edit window, um, taking your crop tool and just slightly cropping it like so something like that so now you got a perfectly square photo and if you've done anything if you've done any uh, panoramas in Photoshop you'll know what I'm talking about you, have to, you always have to do that in Photoshop just take away the excess and make a perfectly square photo but you know this is just a quick um, example of what can be done uh, with the new panorama uh, feature that's in iOS 5 so thank you for watching my video